Alright, uh, good morning, motherfuckers. It's another fucking day. Um, what am I filming? I don't fucking know. We'll figure that out as we go. Let's see. I gotta make fucking breakfast. I usually eat about six eggs every fucking morning. But I have some oatmeal I gotta fucking use before it goes bad. But for dinner, gonna have this grass fed fucking New York strip. And then for lunch, when I come back from the gym, I'm going to have this wild Atlantic sockeye salmon. And probably within, with both of those meals, I'll have some fucking shrimp because we are in doing our 80-20 diet. Oh, I also have some fucking rice that I made yesterday. I had my morning coffee. Still haven't eaten anything. It's about 9.25. I'm actually getting kind of fucking hungry now. Um, I don't really know why the fuck I picked up the camera, I was pretty fucking bored. But, as you can see, the inflammation, the 50 pounds of inflammation isn't everything the fucking doctor said. I'm not that fucking fat, as you can see, I'm actually kind of fucking, I'm kind of fucking puffed up, but, as you can see in my face, you can really tell everyone, this is not just because I wake up, or you're fucking, it's all from the fucking inflammation, obviously, or just because I'm fucking obese. Um, but yeah, I think I'll just make some fucking oatmeal. And I'll probably talk about some shit in a few seconds, but, uh, not really that much. Probably day in the life of what the fuck I do without a job now. Of what the fuck I'm eating. I mean, I just showed you my entire fucking food for the day. But whatever. I'm gonna make... There's six packs of fucking oatmeal. It's gonna eat all of it right now. Carbapella. I think I got a back day today. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna change up my workout routine too. I'll explain all that fucking shit. But yeah, let me just make this fucking oatmeal real quick. All right, so I'm making two bowls with three packs of fucking oatmeal each, like this, because I guess it's too much fucking oatmeal. And you're thinking, why don't you just fucking eat the other oatmeal tomorrow? Well, does it look like I want to fucking be eating oatmeal in the first place? No. Technically, we're just carving up for tomorrow. And I am going to start prep for getting shredded. A three-month prep. Am I going to do a show? Probably not. So I don't even know how to fucking sign up. The show is for you motherfuckers to follow along and to be fucking grinding. So you got our two bowls of fucking oatmeal here. Gonna put water in them. They're probably gonna taste like shit. Got some fucking raspberries right here. Gonna smash them for a second because they're too fucking frozen. And then probably just some fucking honey and that's it. That's gonna be breakfast. Then boom, the mint chucks, it's all fucking smashed up. That's how you fucking do it. And then we're just waiting for the water to boil. I'll get some of this fucking blueberry local honey that's covered in fucking ants. Perfect. Extra protein for the fucking ants. Um, yeah, that's pretty much fucking it for the fucking oatmeal. But... So I look like a fucking mess. I put a shirt on. Because this shirt makes me look like a bitch. So. Get yourself a big fucking spoon so you can eat this shit fucking quicker. Um. What the fuck. Anyways. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to review the three month prep program. It doesn't start till July. Because I'm going to be on vacation. So I'm going to take advantage of that. And this is what we're going to fucking do. So, just open my phone, and I'll explain how things are going to fucking go. Alright, so July, pretty much just a primal diet, which consists of just the 80-20 diet, 80% 80 uh, protein, literally just meats, fish, eggs, bullshit like that, and then 20%, people think, oh, 20% cheat diet, no. 
20% fruits, vegetables, yogurts, honeys, uh, carbs, just, and it's all healthy, right? I'm going to be out of the country, like I said, in the jungle for 17 days, so I'm only going to be eating healthy anyway. Um, so when I come back on the 18th is when I start uh, counting calories, uh, weighing the food on the scale, and drinking raw milk. That's all I have for... This water's going to fucking boil. That's all I have for July, because July is just... Um, what should we call it? Just, you know, the first phases. I mean, July starts in a couple of fucking days. And I'm still eating pretty clean, as you see, just salmon, steak, oatmeal, and uh, probably some fucking rice. But, um, yeah, and then just raw milk when I come back from the 18th to whatever day July ends, I'm going to be eating that shit. And before we get into August, well, August is going to be carnivore, I'm just going to pour this fucking... I always put too much fucking water. Just put that water first, then you want to fucking stir that bitch. Let's see if we can fucking film this fucking shit. This bitch ass oatmeal. Alright, you just want to fucking stir that bitch up. I could have put them both in one fucking bowl. Now I gotta clean more. You get your fucking oatmeal stirred. Then you get this other one. Same fucking thing. You put some fucking water on that. Some boiling water, obviously. That it becomes reactive. And then you fucking stir. And this is how we're gonna get. F As you can see, look, look. This is why I put this shirt on. Because I look like a fucking bitch. You can see that fucking inflammation. That's why we're fucking doing a cut, right? Doesn't matter if I have fucking inflammation from plasma. I don't give a fuck, all right? We're doing this fucking diet, and I'm doing shit that has been proven to work for me, and I'm tired of all this fucking bullshit. I'm going to do what needs to be fucking done. All right, now you got this gross-ass fucking oatmeal right here. Let me just put this fucking water back. I don't fucking burn shit or forget. Alright. Uh, yeah. What we're gonna fucking do. Oh my fuck! What we're gonna fucking do. Just took it down a little more. Let's put some of these fucking raspberries. Let's drizzle some frozen fucking raspberries. Oh my fuck. My big old chunk. Oh my fuck. There's a little bunch of fucking raspberries everywhere, so it doesn't taste so much like fucking bullshit. And I don't know what's in this fucking oatmeal. I don't care if it's fucking cancer causing bullshit. It's too late for that, obviously. Oh my god, I keep fucking spilling. I'm hitting everywhere but the fucking bowl. Alright. What the fuck? Damn, now I'm fucking hungry. I'm so hungry that this gross ass shit might actually taste good. Then, we got our fucking honey with ants in it. Actually, the ants are all gone because I fucking demolished them and squeezed them into fucking oblivion. And then you just do a light fucking drizzle. And make sure you don't fucking overdo it. Alright. And then you do the same thing on the next one. So, six pack of oatmeal is probably a quarter cup of raspberries and probably five tablespoons, which is quite a lot of honey, but it's local. I don't give a fuck. And it's pre-workout. And we're also going to take fucking pre-workout. Fucking. Which is not going to take actual pre-workout pre-workout meal so let me fucking put this here you're gonna watch me fucking eat two bowls of fucking oatmeal which doesn't even look that fucking bad 
if you really think about it. And I don't care what you think about the way I fucking eat, but we're gonna be fucking talking about what we need to fucking talk about. Let me push this one to the fucking side seat. It's not that fucking bad. I'm still kind of fucking 240 pounds of fucking whatever. Still look kind of fucking good. All right, so in August, we're going to do full carnivore. Only meat, no coffee, no fucking cold brew, no fucking nothing. Just strictly pure fucking carnivore. Bison, venison, steaks, salmon, shrimp, beef heart, beef liver, and obviously eggs. No dairy, no fucking yogurt, just straight fully carnivore. All right, let's try this fucking shit. Hold up. Not too bad. The honeys and raspberries save this fucking bitch ass oatmeal. All right, but it's actually pretty fucking good. All right. So, the carnivore diet is going to put me in ketosis for a whole month. And we know that's going to burn fat. July is pretty much the first one. You know, I'm going to be on vacation, so. I'm really just eating whatever the fuck they give me, but it's all healthy. It's just going to be fruit, rice, and meat. And August, carnivore lock-in. It's actually cheaper than any other fucking diet. And then September, so we got all these strict-ass fucking rules. The last month, and it's the diet I first did that got me shredded in the first place. So... September is a low-calorie fucking diet. We're doing 16-8 fasting, so don't eat for 16 hours and eat in an 8-hour window, which should be quite simple because now with my coffee, sometimes I get used to not even eating till 12 and I won't even be hungry. But the coffee, I don't give a fuck if it breaks the fast. Whatever, because I don't think coffee does. Whatever. Alright, so meals will consist of egg whites with lots of salt and probably some spinach. No egg yolk. We're going strict low calorie, high protein. We're gonna weigh and count calories for fats for cooking. So if we're using olive oil to cook, obviously I use cast iron pans, so I'm gonna use olive oil and butter. We're gonna weigh the butter we're putting first. We're gonna count those calories. Every single calorie, even for the fucking butter we're using in the fucking pan, will be counted. Have strict calorie intake. We'll find out what my calorie intake is. As the time goes with the carnivore diet and the first month of prep, zero calorie sodas. So, I don't give a fuck about the aspartame and all the fucking bullshit. That causes fucking cancer and diseases, right? Because I've been primal, I'm super fucking primal. I'm donating plasma, well, I'm not donating anymore, but I have the inflammation from plasma, so I'm already fucked, all right? For now. And one month isn't gonna ruin my fucking life, all right? One month, if it's gonna get me fucking shredded and lose weight, I think it's gonna be beneficial, regardless of. The fucking chemicals they use. So, zero calorie sh sodas when I hit fucking sweet tooth or fucking temptations. Zero calorie Gatorade and Powerade if I want something different. Celsius. I know Celsius uses fucking meth uh, cobalamin for its uh, fucking shit. Whatever. Cyanocobalamin. Cyanocobalamin, which is pretty much fucking cyanide. I'm gonna get their fucking, they use some, I don't know what the fuck it was, but they use uh, something from human sewer plants to get like their methane or whatever the fuck in Celsius. Do you think I'm gonna give a fuck at 7 a.m. when I'm fasting and hungry as fuck what's in that fucking Celsius? No. It's what, 0 to 15 calories? Gonna wake me the fuck up. It's gonna taste good, and it's gonna satisfy my needs, all right? Coconut water for electrolytes, it's very low calorie, it'll be a different taste. 15 calorie almond milk, 
I used to buy it all the time. Vanilla, sweet, vanilla unsweetened, or just vanilla, whichever one's 15 calories. Vanilla, almond milk, 15 calories per cup for when I fucking want to mix it into whatever. I guess you fucking shred it, very low calorie. Then, if I go to Starbucks to get my fucking, because I'm addicted to Starbucks now, because my girlfriend got me fucking hooked. There's a fucking ant on my mic. I usually get a fucking venti. Look at me, I sound like a fucking bitch. Whatever, it says only grande, Starbucks locale. So either way, my order is only 110 calories, and it fucking makes me shit immediately, so I feel like I drink it, and it comes out anyway. Within two minutes, I shit my fucking pants. So, I'm thinking, I don't even absorb the fucking calories. It goes in and out. Right? Helps me cleanse my body every fucking morning. It's only 110 calories. And it tastes fucking good. Makes my day better. Makes me survive. Whatever. For condiments, we're going to do mustard. Because mustard is pretty much zero calories. Even though I don't fucking like mustard. When everything has no fucking flavor, and you put mustard on that shit, it'll be the greatest thing in your fucking life. You know, canned tuna and mayo and rice is fucking delicious for when you're fucking bulking. Don't get me wrong. Most beautiful thing ever. But, when you're gonna be fucking food deprived and hungry as fuck with no fucking seasoning, you're gonna be putting paprika, like, oh my god. Seasonings will fucking save you during a cup. Fucking shove paprika on that shit. Fucking red pepper flakes, fucking onion powder, fucking garlic powder. Fucking put all them fucking seasonings on that shit, and it will fucking make everything taste better. Instead of tuna with mayo, fucking, and rice, you're gonna put tuna, canned tuna, with fucking mustard, and a little bit of low calorie ketchup, right? The one with no sugar, it's only like really low calorie. It's gonna be fucking gross at first, but when you have no fucking things, you put all that seasoning on it, and you're like, I get to finally fucking eat, it's gonna taste like the greatest fucking thing in the world. Next, sour cream is pretty fucking good because we can't have fucking low calorie mayo because it's fucking soybean oil. Either way, even if it wasn't soybean oil, technically doesn't, it still has hella calorie. You can eat healthier with sour cream and you get the low calorie sour, sour cream. Same thing, you actually get more quantity. It tastes better. It's gonna be fucking weird, but it's low calorie. Next. Lots of chicken instead of fucking beef because chicken is more lean. So you're going to have a dry fucking mouth. So you're going to be shoving mustard all over that fucking chicken and salt and seasoning. Lots of fish. Very lean. Lots of salad. So you're going to be fucking all this lettuce, all this fucking tomato in your fucking salads, all this fucking spinach. Low fat Greek yogurt, high protein. It's good for like making fucking sauces. You put some lemon on the yogurt, put some parsley, some cilantro. You mix it in with chicken and in a chicken. Mix it with chicken and fucking lettuce. You got yourself a fucking healthy Caesar salad or whatever with fucking lime and shit or lemon. Sparkling water. You're not going to want to fucking drink water. Because your body's going to be looking for all this shit to fucking supplement because you're going to be craving all this shit. Sparkling water. Then, high, lean high, lean high protein shakes. So, obviously, if I haven't got my protein goal for the day and I want some fu something fucking treat, I'm obviously going to buy a protein powder for this for uh, to get my fucking protein in and get my calories and make sure it's all low calories. So you're going to have the almond milk, the low calorie almond milk with fucking uh, protein powder, probably like a fair life, which only has like 30 grams of fucking protein. You mix that fucking shit together. You find all these low calorie fucking solutions and you fucking make it work. All right. Probably no fucking fruits because those calories add up. No fucking honey, no fucking sweet shit, obviously. No cheese, no rice, no pasta, no cereal, no liquid yogurt, and no smoothies. You don't want to drink your calories, and you don't want these things that are high calorie. are going to fucking mess you up. So, that is for September. And my goal is to get to 200 pounds. I'm 240 right now. 
which is already fucking atrocious. But 40 pounds lost in three months sounds pretty fucking incredible to me. And I think I'll be good to find enough to make a fucking difference. Um, the only reason I'm not eating this is because I'm fucking talking. I got a whole fucking book. But that's a three month prep. I'm going to change my workout routine into instead of a chest pull. What is my fucking my chest pull tricep shoulders? What the fuck? Chest pull tricep shoulders and legs. Yeah, no, we're not fucking doing that. We're doing chest, arms, chest, arms, shoulders, back, four day, and then legs. Legs is only going to be once a week. Not squatting because I still got my herniated fucking disc problem when I try to squat. But legs is only going to be once a week or maybe once every two weeks because that's what Tom Platts did and he got fucking huge. And my legs are still super fucking good and defined. I don't really need to grow them. They just need fucking definition. And when I do do my fucking leg days, I destroy them and I can't walk. So it's going to be my leg, six sets of leg extensions, six sec, six sets of lying down leg curls. And it's probably just going to be those two with some calf raises on my leg days. Because I go extreme on those and I do super sets anyway with each leg and then both. And then after that, I'm probably going to do like dumbbell or kettlebell squats and lunges and just like isolation work for leg days and those are probably going to be the days I hit the bag and I'm going to switch gyms to LA Fitness so I can uh, play basketball so I can burn more fucking calories because I'm supposed to be playing soccer every Friday but I guess I'm a fucking bitch every time Friday comes I don't want to whatever especially if you're one of my boys that I play soccer with you're going to be like yeah I'm a fucking bitch. Whatever. I don't care. I'm gonna eat this whole other bowl of oatmeal. But pretty much, this video is just a uh, three month prep. Uh, my diet. Or three month prep. Whatever. Will I ever film a video in the gym again? Maybe. Since I'm gonna switch gyms, it might be different. And the more shredded I get, the more confident I get, the more uninsecure I get, the more I'm going to want to show my body off and show the results. So, that's what I'm going to do for the next three months. And after September, what we got October, November, December. September, October, November, December. Oh, November, December, I know I'm going to be fucking eating hella because of the holidays and I'm going to be on trips and I'm not even going to be in the country again. So, while that happens, I'm going to do like a mini bulk, where I'm just going to have to do hella cardio. I'm going to, because I'm not even going to track what I fucking eat. I know I'm going to be eating hella. But, uh, I'm going to have to do hella cardio, and really heavy fucking weightlifting. Yeah, October, depends how the diet goes in September, I might keep it extending until October. Just do it the same thing. We're probably just going to go back to being normal carnivore 80-20 diet, which is still good. Obviously, I'm going to be doing a lot of cardio and all this shit. Um, yeah, and then January, all my fucking plasma inflammation should be gone and I should be fully recovered. And then that's when the real journey starts after I wasted... 15 months, and it's going to end up being 26 months of my life wasted. 26 months. No. Oh, my God. No. 20. 15 plus 6 is 21. And 22 for that. Okay. So, yeah. 22 months of my life wasted, which is a year and a half. Pretty much. Which fucking sucks. Almost, no, almost two years. Wow. Wow. Whatever. I'm not going to be a victim mentality. I'm not going to be a victim to my fucking genetics or whatever the fuck I did. I made the choices. It's my fault. No reason to look back on it. A fucking pity. You just got to keep moving forward and keep working. 
I made this bowl of oatmeal. And when I have another fucking video, I'll talk to you fucking guys. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this shit. Bye.